I would suggest a book for all the you professionals today sitting here. The book is written by an Australian nurse. She, she used to take care of critically ill patients. Her name, Bronnie Ware. She has written the book, The Five Regrets of the Dying. She was a nurse taking care of the critically ill patients. Secretly, she used to ask these patients to fill up this form because these patients knew that they would die in a few weeks. They knew it. Their relatives knew it. Family members knew it. The paramedical staff taking care knew it. Doctor knew it. So she would secretly ask these patients when they were alone, away from their family members in the room, what actually at this stage in your life you cherish and what you regret. The regret column was well filled up all the times. And the respondents were arranged from an ordinary carpenter to a high profile professional to a family business owner, everybody. From this, this lady, she dragged out five common regrets of the dying. And she started a blog, which became very famous. She was asked to write a book. She wrote a book, which made her a millionaire. The title of the book is The Five Regrets of the Dying. You know the first regret of the dying? From an ordinary carpenter to a high-profile professional to a family business owner? The first regret of the dying was, why on earth did I work so much? <laughs> the second regret of the dying, I should have spent more time with my near and dear ones whom I loved, who loved me. The second regret of the dying. So now after hearing this, don't take your spouse and your children for granted, okay? The third regret of the dying was, I should have lived a life of my choice and not the life what people expected of me. The other two, I leave it to you. Homework. <laughs> you have fast network, yeah. So you can go on net, you can surf and you can get what the other two regrets were that are also very interesting so maintain a proper work life balance you are not here to change everything in your profession or take all the load of your profession another good aspect of work life balance when it comes to information and technology there is no need to have all the information of all the things happening upon this earth 